to his thousands of followers on YouTube, a St. Paul man is known for pushing the limits of the First Amendment. But tonight, police and prosecutors say he crossed the line, sexually assaulting a woman and attacking her with a taser. The Fox 9 investigators spoke to the man a year and a half ago. And a warning for you tonight, this story contains some graphic details. Here's Tom Lydon. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to inform the public about the rights that you have as, a, as an American citizen. Anthony Wickless calls himself the Minnesota Guardian. On his public YouTube channel, the baby-faced 20-year-old conducts what he calls First Amendment audits, essentially walking into public buildings and rudely interrogating public employees against their wishes. No, I don't you want don't that. have a right to do that. So I can... Wait, why don't I have the right to do that? Don't I pay for this building? Don't I pay for your salary as a taxpayer? What's your name? You're a government. You're a government employee. I'd like to know my public servant's name. What is your name, servant? What's your name, servant? Wickless also trails police, and that's what he was doing Sunday night in St. Paul, when police say he stalked a woman who appeared to be having a mental health crisis, and was especially vulnerable. According to criminal charges, he told her his name was Tony, and he was an expert in de-escalation. He never said he was a cop, but she saw a police scanner and tactical gear in his Crown Vic. She says he offered her a ride home and began making sexual advances, offered her money for oral sex, then began masturbating. When she rejected his advances, she says, he began to drive more aggressively, got off the freeway in a White Bear Lake neighborhood, pushed her out of the car, and tased her, not once, but twice, then sped off. But she got his plate. St. Paul police arrested Wickless Monday night, and today he was charged with second-degree assault and criminal sexual conduct in the fifth degree. What do you mean? What am I doing? Running up on the scene. Try to see what's going on, man. Plenty of people saw trouble coming with Wickless, but there was little they could do. The Fox 9 investigators caught up with Wickless last year outside Daniker's Market in St. Paul. Well, the lady didn't like that I was filming in there, and I left, and then she took my glove. He was walking around the store, and he topped himself. The owner kicking him out for the third time. We're so scared, so we told him to leave. Everybody's welcome, right? Until it gets weird. He'd also been kicked out of Mucci's Italian across the street. The whole time, camera in my face. Ramsey County had warned its employees to be courteous to him as long as the behavior wasn't threatening. If there is a lesson to be learned also, I would say we, we would have learned it the first time. This is a movie that doesn't need a sequel. There have been plenty of sequels with more than 100 videos. Along with so-called collaborators, he's hit the DMV. I just said, do not kill me. <laughs> the post office. This is not a job. This is a this job, ma'am. invasion of privacy. It is not, ma'am. It doesn't matter what I said. You better get that camera off of me. And the lobby of the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. Holy shit. 4D. 4D for us? There's no expectation of privacy in a public in a public setting. So you can't expect privacy if you're in a public place. But there is a right not to be harassed. You, you I agree. agree. But the more confrontational the video, the more clicks it gets. Minnesota Guardian has 13,000 subscribers and more than 2 million views. Enough traffic to make money. How much, he won't say. Do you consider yourself a member of the press or the media? I do. I do. I believe that not only am I part of the press, but everybody is. That's, that's part of the First Amendment, freedom of the press. Wrapped in the First Amendment, there wasn't much police could do. They would arrest him for disorderly conduct, but the charges never stuck. More often, he's in danger of being assaulted like when he recorded people entering a mosque while wearing a Make America Great hat. Or at Bloomington City Hall, where he walked in wearing a flak jacket that said press on it. So I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. If I saw you come into the Bloomington City Hall mm -hmm. with what looks like a flak jacket, I'm going to think I'm in the middle of an active shooter situation. That would scare the living hell out uh, of me. I don't think so, uh, because I didn't go. Uh, and also, it's not against the law to wear one of those kind of uh, vests. But you know the world we live in. Okay, right, but I had clear indicators about what I was doing there. A year and a half ago, Wickless told me he wasn't going to stop pushing the boundaries. Police and prosecutors believe the petulant provocateur finally crossed that line, going from so-called guardian to predator. Tom Lydon, Fox 9.